St. Alphonsus Liguori says, He who prays will be saved, and who prays not will certainly be condemned. And if God is lost, all is lost. Coming to know God in prayer is probably the most important thing that we can do. I remember my mother telling us that we don't have any other family in this country except one another in the church. She would teach us boys before we went off to school to pray our morning offering. At the conclusion of the morning offering, then she'd add on other prayers. Pray that you grow up to be good boys, tall boys, and doctors. I pray that you stay united and that you love and respect your parents. Pray that you don't put your mother in the home of the aged, and so on and so forth. And so we prayed a lot as children. My father, too, was a man of prayer. Uh, he was a physician, and in those days we could go to the hospital to visit him, and we'd either find my father in the library or in the chapel, praying for his patients. And little by little, I began to understand what my father was doing on his knees. He was speaking heart to heart with God. What my mother was doing when she had her book full of prayers and looking at the statue of the Virgin, she was asking Mary to look over her children and grandchildren and had a heart to heart, a sincere, authentic conversation with God. But eventually, God would speak back. And I discovered this in prayer, having silence every day with the Lord having him gaze upon me in the tabernacle. And it changed my life. It opened up a new horizon for me. It helped me to discover my own vocation and so share the gift of faith with others. St. Paul invites us to pray unceasingly. And so we can pray with the deepest affections of our heart, even with every single heartbeat. But I learned it all, I suppose, when I was a little child from my parents. And I continue even now to learn from the Divine Master what it is to pray, what it is to commune with the Father, what it is to speak heart to heart.